Spiritual Chickens by Stephen Dobbins. A man eats a chicken every day for his lunch, and each day the ghost of another chicken joins the crowd in the dining room. If he could only see them. Hundreds and hundreds of spiritual chickens. Sitting on tables, chairs, covering the floor, jammed in shoulder to shoulder. Until one day, there is no more room, and one of the chickens is popped back across the spiritual plane to the earthly. The man is in the process of picking his teeth. Suddenly, there's a chicken at the end of the table, strutting back and forth, not looking at the man, but knowing he is there, as is the way with chickens. The man makes a grab for the chicken, but his hand passes right through her. He tries to hit the chicken with a chair, but the chair passes right through her. He calls in his wife, but she can see nothing. This is his own private chicken, even if he fails to recognise her. How is he to know that this is a chicken he ate seven years ago on a hot and steamy Wednesday in July, with a little tarragon, a little sour cream? The man grows afraid. He runs out of his house, flapping his arms and making peculiar hops until the authorities take him away for a cure. Faced with the choice between something odd in the world and something broken in his head, he opts for the broken head. Certainly, this is safer than putting his opinions in jeopardy. Much better to think that he had imagined it, that he had made it happen. Meanwhile, the chicken struts back and forth at the end of the table. Here she was, jammed in with the ghosts of 6,000 dead hens, when all of a sudden she has the whole place to herself. Even the nervous man has disappeared. If she had a brain, she would think she had caused it. She would grow vain, egotistical. She would look for something to fight. But, as it is, it is all she can do to make little squawks, silent to all except the man who ate her, who is far off banging his head against a wall like someone trying to repair a leaky vessel, making certain nothing unpleasant gets in or nothing of value falls out. How happy he would have been to be born a chicken. To be of good use to his fellow creatures and rich in companionship after death. As it is, he is constantly being squeezed between the world and his idea of the world. Better to have a broken head. Why surrender his corner on the truth? Better just to go crazy.